we now come to the binomial distribution. We have done what a Bernoulli trial is. We have understood what permutation and combination is. We now try to understand what is binomial distribution. Now that is another chaos. Um, hope you people remember your binomial expansions that you are studying. Hmm? No. So it was something like this, x plus y to the power n, I will not go into the derivation, it was x to the power n, you start writing n c 0 x to the power n, n c 1, this power dips by, by n c 2 is power n minus 2 y square, the important thing is that whatever is here goes, goes, goes this here as power, right, this goes here as power and the power of this is the subtraction of the two or such that, that the sum of the powers of x and y is equal to n, that is all, it, it goes till, till it reaches n c n y to the power n x to the power 0, okay. And there are, if the, if the, if the power is n, the number of terms is n plus 1, so x plus y whole square has 3 terms, x square plus 2 x y plus y square and x plus y whole cube has 4, x cube plus 3 x square y plus 3 x y square plus y cube, right, that is what goes. Now this will become a very, very important thing to in understanding what we are doing right now, <coughs> okay. So let us again form the same thing, you flip experiment as flipping 3 coins simultaneously or maybe one after another and what is the sample space? what will be the sample space, again the same thing, h, 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 t, h, t, h, t, h, h, okay, t, t, h, t, h, t, h, t, 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 Let us say, hmm? let us say getting a head is called a success, okay. Success is getting a head on the point, okay. And hence the failure becomes, so there are only two outcomes. What is the probability of the success? Half, fine, it is half. I, uh, I did not call it half right now, I call it probability of success is P. So probability of failure will be? Q, where P plus Q is 1, P plus Q as 1, fine it is half right now, okay, but in many cases it won't be half, maybe, maybe getting a doublet and not getting a doublet, that will not be half. So I am trying to develop a general kind of theory out of this, fine. Now if X is, X the random variable is the number of successes. Okay, x is defined like that, that is the number of heads. So what values can it take? So x is equal to 0, that means no success, hmm? so it is q into q into q, no, hmm? it is So that is the probability of getting, getting probability of 0, 0 successes is getting a TTT, 
okay is is the probability of getting a t t t and what is that that is 1 upon 8 let us say x is equal to 1 then we had seen probability of 1 is actually probability of t t h t h t h t t that is 3 by 8 now wait 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 so this is actually q cube is it not yes sir. and since q is 1 by 2 that comes out to be 1 by 8 here it will be it will be see two failures one success plus failure success failure plus success failure failure that will be q square p added 3 q square p is it not 3 q square p x is equal to 2 getting 2 successes is the probability of h h t h t h t h h which is which is what p p q plus p q p plus q p p q p p that is 3 3 q p square get it and three successes probability of getting three is probability of head 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 which is p q ok that is p q now what is the expansion of q plus p whole cube this is according to my Bernoulli 3 q square p plus 3 q p square plus q q plus p cube sorry ok ok now you see this term matches with this this term matches with this this matches with this and this matches with this and it is no coincidence that it matches it is not a coincidence why why is it not a coincidence now i'll take you to the combination and try to solve the same thing without going into all this okay without going into all this if you solve it you'll immediately understand why it is so why both of them are matching and they'll always do so okay so 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 two three questions that we solved earlier if you go back and solve by this you'll immediately get an enlightenment as to why they were being done in that particular way okay you understand so so let us try to think let us try to think i have got the trials are 3 fine so so it is kind of three boxes Hmm? Now, if you want, want no success, no success, then there is only one way in which they can be filled that is q, q, q. So, so x is equal to 0, this will be only q, q, q. So, so there is not much of a headache understanding that and this is like, like three things, uh, your task is not fulfilled till you fill all the three boxes. Now, the way in which this box can be filled is q, q, q. So, the product rule applies. 
product rule applies for the number of ways also and it applies for probabilities also ok. So, q into q into q that becomes q q ok. Now, if I go for x is equal to 1 now think one of these has to be filled by p and the other two are to be filled by q. So, what I do out of these three I first of all select one I select one that I can do in how many ways 3 c 1 hmm? out of three I select one I can I can do it in 3 c 1 ways in that I put my success that is p and in the other remaining two I put q. Now, for one of those one of those combinations for one of those suppose this p q q what is my what is my probability q square p, but this can be done in three ways this can be done in 3 c 1 ways that means the way in which I can put a p that is 3 that means I, I can pick up any box and I put a put a p there. So, that is why it will become p q q q p q and q q p. So, it will it will take into account all these 3 if I do it 3 c 1 it takes into account all those. So, it says you just pick a box put your p there put your p there and that you can do in 3 c 1 way multiply that by how many you wanted p q q. So, q square p. So, it will be 3 c 1 q square p. Now, what with x is equal to 2? You pick up any 2 and that you can do in 3 c 2 ways. So, 3 c 2 ways and 2 successes and one failure will be in q p square it will be q p square correct. And then the last one last one is all p p p. So, it has to be there is only one way. So, p q ok ok. So, now you have written this Hmm? No, should I raise this? Look, so I come to this. So I come to this. This was only three. Now, even if there are n boxes, so so now I talk about q plus p to the power n q plus p to the power n it is q to the power n plus. So, what happens now there are n boxes that means the experiment will have n number of trials ok. So, all failures this is no success it is only one way all of them having q again one of them now becomes a success. So, the rest will be that means, there are n minus 1 q's and 1 p whose probability is q to the power n minus 1 into p into p and one of the boxes in which you have put p they can be selected in how many ways n c 1 ways. So, that is why it is n c 1. So, this tells you 0 success this is 1 success then 2 successes. So, there will be 2 p's and n minus 2 will be filled with q's and those those the, the, the ones that, that you decide to put your p in is what n c 2 that is picked up in n c 2 ways. Again, you select any of the three in this, put that that success thing. So, p cube is there, and then it is q to the power n minus 3. 
so now you will understand why there is that correspondence between between the between the binomial distribution and an experiment that is actually a bernoulli trial it should be finite because this should be finite all right only two and they should be the same they should be always the same and they should be independent of the previous trial get it so so they ask you if a fair coin is tossed 10 times find the probability of exactly six head at least six head at most six head if a fair coin is to tossed if a fair coin is tossed Christ. Hmm? Fine. No, chapter is over. Find the probability of the probability of of exactly six head. Exactly six head. At least six head. And at most six head. So, here you can say one thing that probability of R successes, R successes is N C R Q to the power N minus R into P to the power R. Probability of R successes. where r is the number of success hmm? so that tells you okay this is what this is probability of n successes okay n successes uh, of sorry sorry r success Hmm? This is probability of R successes. So, what do you do here? Uh, getting a head is a success and the probability. So, P is half, Q is half here, right? P is half, Q is half. So, it will be what? It will be Q plus P to the power half, sorry, 10. That will have 10, 10 terms N C 0, Q to the power 10 n c 1 q to the power 9 into p n c 3 n c kya ho gaya p p par toss 6 times 10 times hai bhai toss 10 times 10 times so n c 2 q to the power 8 p square n c 3 q to the power 7 p cube n c 4 4 <laughs> 2 to the power 6 P to the power 4 plus N C 5 Q to the power 5 P to the power 5 N C 6 Q to the power 6 P to the power 4 plus yeah there, that is 10 only so NC ten plus NC five plus NC four plus NC seven Q to the power three P to the power seven plus ten C eight Q to the power two P to the power eight plus 10 C 9 Q into P to the power 9 plus 10 C 10 P to the power 10. So, if it is exactly 6 heads, then it is, then it is, where it go? Yeah. 6 heads. 